what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I want to finally announce the giveaway details. So a lot of you guys have been asking me, I live in Australia, I live in like this part of the world, I live in this part of the world, and I can't enter. How do I enter? Because I, am I going to ship the car? And on a realistic note, I don't think I'm going to be shipping the car. It's going to be a lot of money. I think it's going to cost me more than even buying the car to ship the car. So I'm not going to be doing that. But don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to give the winner an option to either take the E36 M3 or cash. I'm actually considering on doing $2,500 cash or the E36 M3. So if you win the giveaway, you can choose either or. So if you live far away and you don't want to fly down here to pick up the car and ship it back to yourself, that's going to cost you too much. I understand. So I'm still going to give you the option to give you $2,500 cash. You might be able to get a really beat up E36 M3 locally or do something else with the money. Get your first BMW with it. So that's going to be pretty dope. And if you're local, you can just come pick up the E36 M3. Whatever you want. Even if you're local and you want the cash, it's up to you. I mean, who knows? So yeah, as the winner doesn't want to fly out here and pick up the car, I completely understand. Everyone's on a tight budget here. I get it. So I'm just going to send you some cash. I hope that's cool. $2,500 cash can take you a long way. So how to enter the giveaway. So there's actually two requirements. My brother right here decided to actually chip in with me and make this happen. He actually helped me out to purchase the car because I didn't have exactly enough money for it. So he wanted to help me out. He's like, it's a good deal, Nor. I'm sure the subscribers will be really happy with this. It's an M3. So shout out to my brother. So to enter the giveaway, this is all you guys need to do. You need to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and subscribe to my brother's channel. Link down below. That's it. That's it. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my brother's channel, like this video. That's it. And then comment down below once you've done so. I'm going to be putting all the rules down below just in case you guys didn't catch that. And then once my brother hits 2,500 subscribers, I'm going to be announcing the winner for the E36 M3. So in the meantime, I'm just going to be, I'm going to be trying to build it for you guys. So actually, let's jump in and start cleaning this bad boy. Yeah. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today we're actually driving the M3 down to the shop so we can go ahead and figure out if there's any hidden damages. We did end up getting some parts for the E36 M3. So let's take this stuff with us. Let's just head down to the shop. I'm super excited. I haven't got to drive the M3 long period, you know, long distance. So this will be my first time. All right, guys, we are here at the garage pulling up. We got Jonathan right here. I know John's inside the garage as well. Let's see if he can pull this little sucker inside. What's crazy about this car, like all the screens work. I don't know if you can see. Hold on, let me turn on the car real quick. Oh, actually, I can see this screen, but it's faded. Like, it, it works, but like, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. It's like really faded. Other than that, these all work. What's crazy is that none of this stuff is cracked up. Everything's in pretty good shape. It's just super dirty. Over there, we got a bunch of stuff. Anyways, anyways, put it inside. Yeah. Let's clean her up. Yeah. See what we're working with. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Also, guys, we finally got that car out of the way. So now we got room. What are you right. thinking of that, dude? It's so nice back here. So much room. For so much activity. I know, for so many activities. Guys, what's super crazy also, this soft top is in great shape. Like this had to have been replaced. I think it's been replaced. There's no it's way. It's so it's clean. Just, and then even the interior, like when I'm driving it, well, yeah. the thing I didn't like with my other E36, everything's flapped and this thing, like everything's like well put together. So whoever that really assembled this car, shout out to him. He assembled the motor perfectly because it doesn't overheat. We drove it down from LA. So I can, Bro, that was, we, that was a drive. <laughs> but, but for the most part, it's really drivable. Everything's good. Uh, what I do want to do, isn't it kind of like angled weird? That's how it is. Oh, really? That's how it is. That's how it is? So weird. John would know. He's the E36 expert out of the group. Um, he said these are like E39 wheels. And yeah. These look like OEM ones as well. So they look really good. They're on adjustable coilovers, eBay coils. It is what it is. It's, it feels good. Like, there's not, it yeah. actually doesn't feel bad at all. So the only problem is the alignment. It needs an alignment. Yeah, it needs an alignment. And that's as far as the driving. Everything else is just cosmetic. So, what I want to do today, we want to pretty much clean up the car, we clean up the interior. We want to see what's going on behind these seats. Like, yeah. I'm really curious. We'll take out the seats, we'll check out the condition, we'll clean the whole interior. It's pretty good shape. I do. I want to remove this plastic dip. I don't like that. Yeah, the plastic dip is disgusting. I want to resurface these things headlights. Plastic. I want to put in halos. I want to take off all this bond. We could put here. depots, right? Those are the glass ones. Oh yeah, we those might, are we those are kind of expensive. Oh, and I also but... want the clear ones over here. So that's just like a quick little overview. It already has a lip, which is nice. Um, I actually like paint this lip. is fading a little bit on here, but yeah. grills. I think we should get some new ones. Yeah, we'll get new ones. We'll get new grills. We're gonna unwrap this whole hood. We want. I want Let's to see do that. It, it does look bad. Like as you guys can see right here, it's kind of like whoever plastic dipped it did not do a good job. I will say that though it's not very good i mean it's plasti dip <laughs> whenever you use plasti dip it just it, always looks bad it, it is what it is let's just go ahead and pop the hood as well so if you can just pop it real quick. yeah 
Um, so as far for the inside of the engine bay, what I've noticed is that there's a little scoop that's supposed to come up from over here to up here. The intake scoop's supposed to go into the alternator and it comes up over here. And then you have like this whole assembly that sits and covers up all this stuff. So I do want to get all that because I want this thing to look really good. Another thing is, unfortunately, it's missing the engine bay cover, the S52 engine cover. It's just an engine cover. So I know, but those things are so expensive. I looked them up and they're like 180, the cheapest one on eBay. We're gonna have to wait for someone, some guys, you know, parting out their car. Hopefully we can cop that. I don't know if every E36 comes with a secondary, you know, a pump air pump or something this thing's missing it so we're gonna need a pump this is gonna uh, be a pick and pull run car because there's a bunch it, of e36s there was over actually there actually e36 m3 at the pick and pull i, I went there but it was completely i told you i told you part, like everything you can ever imagine is completely gutted off that car <laughs> like i didn't even know it was an m3 like that time but it was a coupe too really it was, was it manual it was a manual bro that so, thing was destroyed guys <laughs> that thing was even the engine there was no engine like he took the engine like that thing was a complete rolling chassis literally sense. everything gone it's an e36 m3 you know i was really hoping i can get lucky on that i just noticed some Body damage right here. Ooh, I didn't even see that. I think it's the first body damage I've seen on the car. We'll figure that out. What do you think of it? It's nice. It's nice. nice. It's slow. Other it's than good. the fact that it's like really beat up, it's, it's nice. Mixed. It's a great start. It, <laughs> it is a great start. Be, like if whoever wins this, if I win this, <laughs> I'd be happy. Okay. Bro, right? you just enter and win or whatever. Yeah, it's Bro, free to so enter. Happy. And you get an M3. And I just talked to John about the swap. If I was to win this car, I would do a manual swap. You said, what do you need for the manual swap? Uh, just the transmission, the linkage, maybe a drive shaft, and then the pedal. That's it. Yeah. So easy. these cars are easy to work on. So easy. Yeah, guys. Uh, I think at this point, enough talking. Let's just get into it. Right? Yeah. Start cleaning it up. Start cleaning it. All right, guys. So this is going to be the reveal of the seats. I'm really wondering what my booty has been sitting on. So moment of oh, bro, I actually looked. I took a sneak peek. It's, you looked at it? Bad. <laughs> are these even seats underneath? Because I can already tell where the rip's like right, right there, right there. It's scary. Okay. Moment of truth, guys. What's going on down here? <laughs> <laughs> There's metal. There's like metal you sticking you out of the seat. <laughs> is that even safe? Oh my god, what the hell? These are sport, but not that that matters. <laughs> None of these controls work, by the way, guys. Like this. Oh. Yeah. By the, the recliner way, works. It doesn't go forward, and it really made me mad. I yeah, that. So it doesn't go forward, and this thing is broken, so it doesn't actually like pull up. We're just gonna get the seat out, right, Jonathan? Like. Yeah, we're gonna take. Let's it. just take it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Okay. Let me let me sit you guys down. Let's start working. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is where we're at right now. Bro, it's bad. It's so bad. Like, we can't even get these seats out. It's not working. Like, basically, the seats won't move back and forth, so we can't get the bolts out of the rear on either side. All right, guys, we haven't even got to anything yet. We're just trying to literally figure out how to take out these seats. That is one piece of junk seat out. Dude, this thing is just a piece really of work. Bad. Guys, by the way, I'm recording on my phone. I'm sorry. Uh, my phone, my camera died, and uh, I wasn't prepared. John's trying to figure out a way to get the motor off of the rail so we can actually move the seat forward and back and actually get all these screws out. That's really sketchy. All right, well, that's the gutted seats, guys. There you have it. So you have to just do it back and forth on your side. All right, so you guys saw what John did. We were able to move it forward, so we're just gonna keep doing it on each single side and move it a little here, move it a little on the other side. Yeah, pretty much hopefully get the bolts out. Um, as for this, this is the before. Yes, you see, it's just, and then we're gonna go ahead and vacuum all this up. Carpet and... restoration. That is terrible. So in a more in-depth version of this is gonna be on Jonathan's channel. He's recording this, but uh, yeah, so here's the before. You will see the after. And thank the Lord. Screw there. No screw way, here. dude. Oh Stop my time. God. Finally. I've been sitting here for like an hour and a half doing that. Honestly. I've but been in the bright side, guys, I see about three or four dollars in quarters, so. <laughs> I got paid for my time. All right, see you. I think I'm gonna take a break. See you hooked it up with some Chipotle. Okay, Jonathan, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's eat. There's no way I just heard that. Hey! <laughs> Thank you, Johnny, for editing it. Shout out to Sia for bringing the food. This seat is such a good one. Guys, check out how much money there is. One. Okay, so this is this is a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, and five dollars. Is that part of the giveaway? Oh my God. I'll leave it in the gold box for this. <laughs> Anywho, um, we're just gonna go ahead, drop this in a bit, and detail the rest of this. So here's the before. Take a quick little good look at it. 
Uh, we're gonna do a few little minor things here and there. The first one, I wanna go ahead and replace the gas cap. All right guys, so this car, for some reason, came with a gas cap with a key. I cannot imagine if you lose the key, you know, what kind of situation you'd be put in. So let's get rid of that. Go ahead and just put a normal one, just like that. That's so much better. All right, and another part I really wanted to do is this little trim piece. You guys can see on the dash, it's like, it looks like something majorly missing. It just needs this. So I wanna end up going to pick a pull. This one has perfect tabs. Let's go ahead and install this as well. That looks so much better. It looks a lot more complete. Uh, you can do your thing, don't worry. <laughs> He's been a little loud, but I mean, he's been up the interior. Look at this side, guys. It looks like it never, like, it looks perfect. As for this right here, you guys can see, like, the gaps are horrendous. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Probably gonna start taking it apart. This is missing some clips. This actually looks in terrible shape. I don't know if I should even reuse that. We'll go ahead and go through with all this stuff in a little bit. Jonathan is gonna finish up vacuuming. I'm gonna detail this whole thing. Oh, this whole dash as well? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean the door panels and everything. It's gonna be a full transport. Okay. Ugh, transformation. Well, I guess in that case, I'm always gonna show you guys the befores and then we'll show you guys the afters. Yeah. All right, guys, so me personally, I just went ahead and put those two new pieces, the gas cap and the trim piece. We got the carpets out. This does need a little bit of cleaning. But as for the trunk, it's missing a whole bunch of tabs and stuff like that to keep this up. I'm going to go ahead and look for some tabs. I might have some in the garage. But this piece also is missing all the tabs. For right here, it's missing a few tabs. So if I could piece some of this together, it would be really nice. I'm going to go ahead and start looking for some tabs. I might have some. And then also, I'm going to head down to some pick poles and hope people have got the tools. As a, you know, trying to restore a car, I want it to be like OEM. I want it to have everything. So I'm going to be looking out for that type of stuff. Up. right here also this is loose i noticed that so i'm gonna go ahead and try to push that back in and then over here this is missing the gasket i'm also gonna go ahead and upgrade this to the shorter one this is really like outdated i don't like how the antenna comes out this long i'll get the one that comes out about this long and uh, i'll replace that whole thing and we'll go ahead and place an order on that and it's also missing some shocks so i'm gonna go ahead and order some shocks as well give you guys a little update in a little bit tabs from different cars that i've had uh, we'll see if they work here's the before hi right, guys so the trunk is fully assembled I don't like how convertibles they have it kind of like super low because the, obviously the, 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 the convertible top has to go somewhere. So this looks kind of weird. Obviously it needs a little filler thing there. Uh, other than that, it needs a good cleaning and a couple more tabs, but it's held up. Everything's held up for the most part. It still needs a few more tabs. I got all the ones up there, so it's not like sagging. So yeah, for the most part, it's coming together. It just needs a little bit of a cleaning. Hi guys, carpet. I don't know why it looks bad on camera. It actually, it's perfect. It's the lighting, but guys, the whole carpet is like mint other side it's mid uh so all he's gonna do now is push detail the interior the dash and all that stuff and then we're gonna go ahead and put the new cup holders and then the door panels and this thing will be mint from the inside at least and then we just have to start piecing it back together because obviously we're trying to restore this so we're gonna have to get a better armrest better steering wheel it's like ripping right here rear seats door cards it's gonna need a lot of work boys but uh so far it's looking pretty promising got this interior it's looking it's so much better. better obviously the steering wheel's gotta go yeah. but if you guys look at the interior like it's coming to get it really nicely, mainly because it wasn't damaged. Like no, it, was it was just, just dirty. really dirty. Yeah, dirty. yeah, obviously this has got to go. This has got to go. And like if once we change those two, this car is gonna look like brand new. Honestly, like it looks like honestly, it's, it's almost scratchless, which is kind of crazy. We do have to go with door panels. I'm actually thinking about getting a new hood. I'm actually thinking about keeping the color white because I looked it up, and John's also telling me that it's kind of like a rare color for an M3. So I kind of want to uh, pretty much get the uh, white hood, a white bumper, and get it all back to white. The reason I'm not just peeling off all the plastic dips because it turns out there's a lot of patches. That that are like messed up so the paint's messed up to paint a hood's like 200 bucks i'm sure i can actually find it for like 50 bucks for the whole hood so i'm just gonna look for a hood 50 bucks white because i'm sure i can find it off pick a pull and they're probably gonna try to restore the entire paint of the whole car this thing's coming together bro this is looking so good bro look how clean that looks now dang bro that looks crazy i'm the detailer now for real for you guys guys jonathan's recording all this in channel so if you guys want to see all this in depth make sure to check out jonathan's channel i'll be linked down below all right guys jonathan did a great job with the detailing obviously i need to get all this stuff situated i don't know what's going on here we'll fix all this the tabs and everything's like terrible it's missing that you know everything's falling apart i think he did, like he put everything together but like didn't actually put it together this is looking really good it's a little bit dented up here but again it's like smooth it's clean this i need to pull out the speaker again maybe that's because it's, it's really loose so i need to like push it back into place so fix all that stuff also this door right here is actually looking so much better but there is some wear and tear because you know it is a driver's side everything has wear and tear that speaker's blown i've also heard these two speakers are blown these two speakers are blown so i plan on replacing all those those speakers are all both working 
Uh, so yeah, that's all good. I cannot wait to put a new steering wheel, guys, because that's like one of the main things. You, like, you literally touch that and drive that. And I want to do an alignment. And dude, once I do the alignment and a new steering wheel, like yeah. it's gonna it's gonna be so nice, especially with this seat, because I actually can move this seat back and forth. This seat was destroyed, guys. Like it was so uncomfortable. This car's gonna be coming together hopefully. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I know uh, I pretty much had to record with my phone, and I'm sorry. It is what it is. I, I should actually make a shirt. I saw you guys say that. I should make a shirt about it is what it is. You see that comment? It is. It is. It is. I probably make a shirt. It's, I've, been, I've been using that a lot recently. I, I think it's pretty cool. It is what it is. Anywho, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my brother's channel down below, and then comment down below once you've done so. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in circ, cause I wanna have words.